Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Sorry, um, technical difficulties, right? <laughs> okay, my virtual there. backdrop when I signed on was a, was a happy birthday to my husband. <laughs> so I, I feel it. I feel your pain. <laughs> um, no, but thank you. Um, so um, in watching the screeners, um, I thought it was great. I watched it with my five and eight-year-old. And um, what I loved seeing was in a lot of the episodes, we saw a lot of sign language. And my kids are learning sign language in school as we speak. So this was really relevant. That's and um, so I just kind of wanted to get what was the idea behind of implementing sign language into the series? Danny, you want to speak about coming up with the pickles? Yeah. And yeah, so there was a little bit of signing from the, um, uh, the chimps in the, um, in the movies. And I thought that would be a great thing to lean into. Uh, one thing that's so great about New York is that it represents so many different people and we, you know, it was really important to me that the series represented so many different people um, and that we had an ASL character who's, uh, an ASL speaking character whose main trait wasn't the fact that they speak ASL. They're a really funny character and there are, are you know, comedic relief in the series um, and to have that, sorry, I have lots of dogs, um, to have that sort of um, representation in the series is wonderful and, and a great way uh, for, uh, to expose a, a wider audience to ASL and also show the different ways uh, that people, people and animals communicate. It's also from, a, from an animation point of view, from a, because it is a visual language, it's, it's just really interesting and fun and, and uh, it's completely additive. And also the fact that, uh, that chimps kind of have two sets of hands. So we, you know, that's another element where we get to have, you know, we get to have a lot of, of fun and, and it really adds, adds visual um, excitement to the, to the scenes. Awesome. Well, we love it. Thank you, ladies. Can I ask you a question? Are your kids, um, are they in a school where it's just uh, ASL is offered as a second language? Um, they're in a Montessori school. Um, my oldest has autism and so it was like the perfect fit and they pretty much teach them uh, because we there's a lot of kids that are not vocal uh, with you know because of autism and stuff and so they teach them ASL. Amazing. That's Thank fantastic. You. My my uh, my mother is a teacher uh, from in a school um, uh, where a lot of autistic children attend, and she um, growing up she used sorry my, my daughter is is also being homeschooled at the moment or is is virtually schooled at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, she's growing up. She used a lot of ASL uh, with us just naturally because most of her students were were learning and speaking ASL, and it's just a, a wonderful way to communicate. And when my daughter was born, that was you know the first. First thing she said is, you know, before, you know, the, the primary way to, for a baby to speak is through ASL and it's such a wonderful form of communication. And, um, and so she was, she, she was a, a, a big influence in, in trying to, um, you know, uh, learn ASL and, and incorporate it into, into our lives. Um, so um, another question that I had in viewing the series was um, we really love the comedic aspect of the series and so um even as adults me and my husband were like this is really funny okay. you know but to kind of put it in a in a perspective for kids to also understand like little puns and stuff um i was just curious were you guys um you know sitting around and saying like you know coming up with this stuff or were you guys kind of like you know this has happened with my kid let's throw it in there kind of thing i was just wondering what ex what inspired the comedy in the series we have a great room of writers. Mm -hmm. um, we have a fantastic writers room. Um, Denise, Sam, Roxy, and Laura, they are fantastic. Um, and they are very funny. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes in the room, we'll just, we'll have brainstorms of jokes and how do we punch something up? Sometimes even after, you know, we have a, a story that's really uh, emotional um, and we are like, this is such a great story, but we also want to laugh and not just cry. And uh, we'll, we'll do a brainstorm after and everyone will bring in their own punches and their own ideas. Um, but yeah, it was really, the, the movies were so funny. So it was really important, you know, uh, for, uh, everyone who knows and loves the movies to come back and say like, you know, there's, there's an expectation. So we, the, a high bar was set for us. I, and I think also what's really interesting about the process of animation is we start with, you know, by the time we, the writers finish a script, it's in 
hilarious shape, but it gets to keep going along the yes. production pipeline. Yes. So with every set of hands that touches it are from our directors and storyboard artists, our editors. Add They're hilarious. Stuff. Yes. They, timing yeah. is very much a part of comedy. They, they, you know, we'll do a whole scratch session where we temper, you know, we record the voices beforehand. We find jokes in how to deliver a joke our, and our editors will like, while they're working alone, they'll add jokes in. Then once we get the actors in to record, there, that's a whole other moment where when, when we're sitting in the studio, well, not in the studio, just here in this box. But anyway, while we're sitting listening, one of our actors and our kids are incredibly funny. Yes. Our actors will also find spins on lines. That some of, sometimes these kids will improvise stuff and we're like, I, they, just, yes. they just topped a joke that we have been working on for months. So it's, um, it really is part of the, what's so wonderful about this process is it gives us many opportunities to continue to uh, plus the comedy, which is how we call it. And, and, and then just, I think why it's so important, you know, I talked earlier about the heart of the show is sort of what, what is, I think we're all very united in making sure that these stories deliver, uh, you know, certain themes, but that medicine, if you want to call it that, goes down so much more easily and pleasantly when there's comedy. You know, you, it's, it's a really beautiful delivery system. Which, so that's why the comedy is equally important. Yes, um, so like, to, to what Joanna was saying, when we, first, um, when we first saw the animatics and the board artists, you know, we, we thought like, oh, this is, this is a fun, funny script. And then, you know, we've seen this a hundred times and then all of a sudden we see it in animatic and we're cracking up because the directors and the board artists and, and everyone has added so much comedy to it and so much physical comedy. And that was such a huge part of the movies too, was this sense of physical okay. comedy. And uh, Joanna, to, I think you had, you're the one who had mentioned that TJ is almost like an actor. Um, oh, Yeah. Uh, and he's so he, when we're trying to figure out, you know, when we're watching an, an, an so an animatic is the storyboards edited together before anything's been animated and, and we'll watch one and, and, you know, we'll be just again, noting the moments that could be better. We think could be better. And our, everybody does this, but TJ is what is, uh, he's our supervising director. He'll, he would get up and literally act out. You know, he is Melman for, for 10 seconds while he's, presenting to us why this kind of neck move would be funnier than this. So uh, that's a, a huge part of it. And I, and I do want to say, I, I stopped before I should have, before I should have, once it gets to animation, animation is a whole other. So we go, when we go from boards to animation, that's where we find the comedy of how each of our characters move. You know, Melman's neck is its own character and it's a hilarious character. Yes. <laughs> so much. And then when we get to even sound in our, in our post, we get to sound and music. So again, the comedy is, is you know, woven throughout every aspect. Um, but, I, but thank you, by the way, for even yeah. highlighting that because I'm, I'm really happy to hear that it's, that it's working. No, no, it's, it's fantastic. And for my five-year-old to get some of the puns in there and my eight-year-old, I mean, I just think it's great, you know, because they were belly laughing on some of these. So I think it's great. But we thank actually, you, ladies, so much. Thank you. We actually, just to let you know, we have a pun jar in our room, um, in the writer's <laughs> room. We love puns so much that we've started charging for them. And you have to either uh, add a quarter or buy someone a stamp um, <laughs> every time you use a pun. Um, so they're pretty proud of it. So we appreciate that, that recognition. That's awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Madagascar, a little wild.